Okay, welcome to the wonderful world of marketing. Uh, we're back talking about app portals. I'm going to go uh, a bit deeper into app portals today and talk a little bit more about groupings and how the groupings work. Uh, so um, this is the app portal. This is the sales app portal that we were looking at the other day. And uh, we've got multiple groupings. And so just to kind of orient you around the language, um, each one of these individual tile units is a grouping. That's also what they're called on the main start screen. Um, and within each one of these tile units, uh, these little tiles you see here are called grid tiles. Uh, grid tile is a little different from a live tile. It still has the live feed that you see in a normal live tile, but they're not movable. You can only kind of do this. They can't move them around anywhere. Uh, so they're effectively stuck in place, and that's why this is an LOB app made out of the OS. Uh, so there's a couple cool things we can do. Uh, this right-hand grouping is actually a set of resources that help me understand how to do this demo well. Um, I've done the demo, so I don't really need to refer to them anymore. So I can just swipe up, and I can actually hide the entire grouping. So that grouping is now gone. Um, we're actually going to be introducing functionality that allows you to hide any grouping. So people can personalize this to a certain extent by hiding groupings that they don't normally use. Now, um, one of the things that's really cool about an app portal is it's running on Windows 8. So anything that runs on Windows can run inside an app portal. So for example, I've got a set of pinned links here in Seller Resources. So if I just click on, say, Gear Up, which is one of our toolkits that we use in the field, you can see that I've got that there. And what's kind of neat is I've got the app still here on the left. So I can move around. I can, in kind of a nice fluid way, switch between different things that are important to me in sales. And on the right-hand side, I've got my window here. It allows me to interact with it. So it's a very nice fluid application feel, but this is just native OS functionality. Um, the other thing we have is we have applications. So modern apps like Yammer and Skype launch, and they also are launching in auto snap, so I can use those in uh, the normal way. But I can also go to my desktop and use Outlook, Dynamics, Link, etc. cetera. Um, I've also got dashboards in, uh, in the spreadsheets of the scorecards. So I can zip into a scorecard here. I can filter it by region. I can filter it by district. And I can actually go down to the account team unit level, and I can see what their scorecard looks like. So now I'm looking at what is effectively an embedded app inside the app portal. It's starting to give me some business intelligence that's very helpful as I want to run my business. Uh, this section in the middle here, marketing and advertising, allows me to have some pretty interesting interactions where marketing is helping feed the sales team. So I'll give you a quick example. I can go into our worldwide events tool that we run in the company. I can pick an event that's coming up. This Youth Spark event in New York looks kind of interesting. And I can actually go right into my worldwide events page here. I could click register and I could invite a customer to that event straight from there. Um, that's the kind of thing that's always been available. We've always had a worldwide events page, but it's been a separate page. By putting everything into the single app portal, we've given all the resources that our sellers need all there in one place. A quick example of other things that we do is about two weeks ago we started a new commercial campaign, we added that new tile in, and now a seller can just go straight to the Microsoft Cloud campaign, be able to show that to a customer, be able to go through the videos and case studies, and have some fun with that. Uh, finally, let me just touch on uh, a couple of things over here on the left. Uh, you've got pipeline and attainment, so attainment is quota. Pipeline is how we're doing in terms of filling our pipeline for sales. I'm going to dive into those in more detail in the next video. I want to end this one with a description of kind of what's really running behind all this. And you'll see in the top right hand corner I've got a persona, Shelly Ross. Uh, Shelly Ross is actually our um, CEO persona. And the interesting thing about Shelly is that her view is set to her Active Directory settings. So Shelly's seeing all the data that's available in the company, and she effectively has all the tiles that are available. If I go back to my sort of login screen, I can pick a different persona. And so in this case, I'll pretend to be Brady. So if I go in as Brady, you'll see that Brady's numbers are actually different. You may not have memorized the numbers that Shelly was looking at. Trust me, they're different. But the other thing that's kind of fascinating is that Brady even has different tiles. So you'll see in the marketing and advertising section, there are four tiles for Brady. He's missing a tile that Shelly actually has. If I go back to Shelly's persona, you can see she's got five tiles there. And so the difference between these two apps is that we've actually used Active Directory to control not just the data that someone's seeing, but also the actual app functionality that's available. Uh, in the next session, we're going to dive more deeply into uh, Pipeline. And I'll show you how we're connecting our tools like Dynamics and Office 
together in one on the glass integration that's quite elegant. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for Wonderful World of Marketing. <laughs>